Hey guys, it's Danny Son here. I wanted to talk to you about what happened to me at MEPS earlier last week. Uh, I spent a really long time there just waiting to uh, hopefully get my job, or rating as they call it in the Navy. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a rating. <sighs> April Fools! I know it's a little late, but actually, I did get my rating, and uh, everybody's so happy, even my stepdad, although he wasn't initially, which pissed me off, but he later uh, got me this nifty uh, Navy hat from, uh, I guess uh, some veterans were selling them out by Walmart, and uh, it actually has like a little embedded emblem here, and it's metal, and it's, it's in there pretty tight, and uh, normally I'm not much of a hat guy, if you guys know me personally. Um, just because I guess my head's too big or whatever, but I'm going in the Navy, I'm gonna have to get used to it, right? Yeah, I'm uh, pretty gosh darn excited about uh, being officially signed up for the Navy, and uh, it is true, I was there for a uh, very long time. I didn't get back home until probably around six or seven. Yeah, I got there, um, just waited and waited and waited for my uh, liaison to contact me. I was just waiting in there, watching Sports Center again. They did. Uh, asked me to come in, but they basically just went over uh, some background check questions. They just wanted to confirm, you know, I have this many brothers, half brothers, step brothers, step sisters, you know, blah, 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 and stuff like that. And they're like, okay, you know, job council will be out with you shortly, you know, just go out and wait. And I think it was like four or five hours later, just sitting out there waiting, had lunch uh, with the other two guys that came in there with me. Oh, by the way, I did manage to get to see uh, one of my best friends, Tyler. He actually got shipped out that day, so that's why he was going to MEPS. And uh, it was really fun hanging out with him again before he got shipped out. I didn't think I'd get to see him again, so I just left him a message on Facebook, you know, saying good luck. But it turns out he was going with us to MEPS, and I even got to room with him, so we were just, you know, shooting the shit one last time before we got shipped off. And the funny thing is, um, I have uh, two friends that are both going into the Navy, and uh, we all, all three of us had the same middle name, which is James, which I thought was uh, pretty funny. Anyway, getting back to my story, I was sitting out by the liaison's office, waiting for the uh, job counselor to come out and talk to me. And I was sitting there waiting, 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 until finally, you know, I went with the other guy and we had lunch. And we went back out there and pretty much waited for uh, our petty officer to come pick us up. And she did, she came in and left real quick. And uh, the other guy texted her and to ask, you know, what's going on? Why'd you, why would you leave? <laughs> Forgetting something? But actually, she was gonna go get some papers signed or whatever. So I'm like, okay, fine, that's a little weird, but you know, whatever. So she came back and I guess she talked with the office a little bit. And shortly after, they called me back in and uh, they only had a one job available for me that day. Actually, they had a total of eight, but the one job that they wanted to give me was a sonar technician, or STG, which I accepted. And uh, the thing is about that, it's kind of like the uh, nuke program, where it's a Navy advanced program, and uh, instead of doing four years active, four years inactive, see, with any kind of military service, you're uh, contracted for eight years total. But with most Navy jobs, you only have to serve four years active. Then you're in the uh, inactive reserves for the, the remainder of your service. But for the advanced placement jobs, uh, the ratios change. You're on active service for uh, six years, then you're on inactive for two. I was a bit uh, hesitant to uh, sign up for something like that just because I didn't really know if I wanted to make the Navy my career. My mom and my stepdad and even my relatives, they came over earlier today. Um, they really kind of want me to just do my 20 years and get retirement check, which I think is pretty nice. It's a pretty sweet deal. But I believe, you know, at this stage, I don't really know if I want to make the Navy my career. And like I said in my earlier video, Videos. I know it can be, it can be an excellent career, but um, if I do want to make the Navy my career after I get my bachelor's degree, which I can slowly work on while I'm in the Navy, I'm not exactly sure how much time I'll be able to allocate towards class, so I don't know if I'll be able to get my degree entirely while I'm in the Navy, or if I could just peck away at classes, and then only have to take like a year or so while I'm in, and then get my bachelor's degree. But if I do want to make uh, the Navy my career, then after I get my bachelor's degree, I'll sign up for the officer program, and it's pretty cool because uh, starting off as an 01, um, I believe 01s right now are 48 to 50,000 a year, which is pretty sweet for a, a recent college grad. <laughs> but I think that after I'm done with my inactive service, I'm gonna do uh, a study abroad program while I'm in Japan. 
or going to Japan, sorry. Um, not like the JET program, kind of like what uh, Roger Swan did, where he went to uh, Keio University through Western Michigan. Heck, if I had the funds, I might even be able to do it exactly the way he did. But uh, there's also other schools here in Ohio that I can go through as well. So yeah, uh, that's basically you know what happened at MEPS. Uh, let me explain about the, uh, the sonar tech job real quick. There's a lot more details, but uh, I'm just going to give you the basic rundown from my understanding, from researching it and everything. Um, basically what I'm doing, I'm an STG, so I'm a sonar technician uh, above ground. There are sonar techs for subs and stuff, but I'm basically dealing with uh, either stuff on shore or on ships. I deal with the maintenance, uh, setting up, uh, troubleshooting and stuff like that with the sonar equipment, as well as reading the graphs, understanding like if the sonar hits something, what is it? Is it an animal? Is it a ship? Is it, is it rocks? How far away is it? What's the uh, topography, I guess you'd call it, for the uh, ocean floor? Just to make sure we don't like hit something. Things like that. Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty gosh darn excited if you couldn't tell by my uh, rapid fire talking, which is definitely uh, new for me, I guess. <laughs> Normally, I kind of slow down and talk like this, which might also explain why my videos kind of have that William Shatner-esque cutting where I'm kind of talking here, and it just kind of cuts away. But yeah, pretty excited. I go to boot camp uh, June 23rd, so I only have about two or three months left before I get shipped out there. And then after I'm done with boot camp, I have to stay there at Great Lakes, Illinois, which is by Chicago. I have to stay there for another six weeks for basic, like, introduction introductory classes for my sonar position, introductory classes for my sonar position. Then I go to A school and C school. A school is kind of like the basic like job training thing for most Navy personnel, but C school is the uh, advanced version of that. It's mostly for uh, the advanced positions like uh, nuke, uh, if you're doing stuff on submarines and sonar. <laughs> stuff like that. So I go to A and C school in uh, San Diego. You know, I'm going to definitely get some footage there. I mean, I know it might be a bit presumptuous to say, but I'm hoping to uh, do a couple collab videos with some of the YouTubers there. Maybe if uh, Jason of the My Argonauts channel is still kicking around the neighborhood, we might be able to hang out or whatever. It might sound a bit presumptuous, but you know, just putting the invitation out there, Jason, if you're still watching. <laughs> After going to, to a ANC school there for about two years, I'll get shipped out to wherever they need me. So yeah, um, this is the Andy song. Sign off for now. Hope to see you guys again soon. See you next time. Bye.